Well, hello, folks. I do hope you're all well. Right, this is the last one from me on Savile, uh, The Reckoning. As I actually seen part four last night, I've only just uh, finished watching it. <coughs> Done a couple of videos on it already. This will be the last one. Um, yeah, as we'd said uh, initially after watching part one and then parts two and parts three together, um, just a fantastic drama. Coogan, absolutely brilliant in it. He's pretty brilliant at whatever he does. I know he's not everybody's cup of tea. I know he gets under some people's skin. But I don't think there's many people out there, whether you like him or not, can say he's bad at what he does. He's a brilliant, brilliant mimic. Very, very clever fellow. Um, great actor. He's really, really good. A clever person to boot. His political views might not match everybody else's, but, as I say, good at what he does. I note uh, yesterday that I think he should have been at a book signing and knocked on the head. He was worried about the repercussions from taking the part on. And I sort of get that, but then again, I don't. I think, you know, he should never be knocked for taking a part on. If he hadn't have played it, somebody else would have done. There was a script there, obviously a very, very good script. We've just watched it. It was a great story. The story is very, very close to fact. Obviously, bits will have been made up for dramatic purposes and so on and so forth, but it was very, very good. Why would he not take it on? It's obviously somebody he's portrayed before as well when he's been uh, doing his mimicking and whatever else, so he knows he can do him. Um, I think it was a no-brainer for him. And what I will say is this. I mean, I think many people have watched that, knowing what Savile was and knowing how bad he was, and we've watched it over the four parts, and many of us have felt almost physically sick. Uh, you know, thought, oh, my, it, it's made us feel really bad watching him. That, to me, just shows how great a part Coogan has played. There's been times there you've sort of forgot it was Coogan and you're thinking Savile, Savile, Savile. It was that good. But I don't know, my, my, my main thoughts from it is, as I say, I, I think other people may come forward that have been um, abused in any way, shape or form at others within the media and others in power. But what you may also get is, I mean, look, there's been plenty of people that Savile abused that in the end approach the law because others did so you know they, they followed suit and we know he's uh, abused many though we don't know how many i think what tends to happen from what i can gather reading between the lines and i'm no expert expert but i think what many do when they've been abused they feel dirty they feel used obviously and many of them feel it's their own fault especially those, those that have been abused and let him abuse them again you know people don't realize the power he had over others and people don't realise how, how somebody with so little, maybe, self-thought or, or good feelings for themselves because of the situations they were in. People don't realise those that were vulnerable with no confidence, no self-esteem and no nothing. You know, how they could be in a position where Savile did it time and again. And I think when you watch that last night and you read between the lines, you can sort of see it. And I think many people probably haven't even now gone to the law now he's dead now it's all ended now but people can at any time you know i think there's probably many people that have been abused that have lived with it maybe not have children maybe not married maybe always been cold towards the partners or never 100 percent right maybe there's these people that haven't shared it with others with the partners or with just friends in general that maybe could have done should have done and could do now it might just make, there might be five or ten people he abused that have carried this with them for 20, 30, 40 years and never told a soul. And maybe if they've watched that and seen that and they've realised the, the groundswell of, of hatred towards Savile, revulsion, but also the, oh God, what's the right way of putting it? The, the great sorrow we feel for them, the great, it's not sorrow isn't the word. You know what I mean? How bad we feel for the, for these people that have been abused. How, how we wish we could have helped them. How we wish we could have been there for them. Many of us could be there for them now. You know, these people that have been abused by Savile that have never told anybody. Maybe, just maybe on watching that, they would realise sympathy. They would realise what sympathy the audience that have watched that show have for them. And how bad we feel that they've been put in that position. And they've ultimately been let down by many of the superiors at the places he did this and also with things like the BBC 
you know, and, and maybe there's people out there that, even as I say to this day, I've never told anybody what's happened at the hands of Savile. It might just be a good time to do it. If it just helps four or five people, I've never told anybody. It might just be a good time to do it. You might you might feel so much better unburdening yourself and speaking to others. You know, it's... I don't know. I've not been there. I've not had that, you know. But, but as they say, it's good to talk, and it always is. And if anybody out there's watched this that has been abused by several many, many years ago, share it. Let others know. Even if you're drinking a helpline, it just might help you. But no, back to the show. It was, just, it was a fantastic bit of TV. It was great. And, and for the reasons that were stated in... In the past couple of um, videos, I think it was a story that needed to be retold. And I think sometimes it's weird. I think I heard somebody say on the TV today, was it all, I think, Ruth Langsford. She said, had it had been a documentary, I could have watched it. But because it was a drama, I couldn't. Um, Eamon watched it, but I couldn't. A documentary, although it had been painful, yes. A drama, I don't think so. I'd have found it worse, and I think it glorifies it a bit. Well, no, I disagree. Many people can watch a drama and don't want to watch a documentary. And a drama, if it's well written and, and well acted, can bring it home to people in a way that a documentary can't. I think it did that for me. Um, as a, anyway, just great. It was a great show. I'm glad it aired. I know some may not be that happy, but I'm glad it aired. Uh, and I think it will have done some people some good. But hey, what do I know? That's only my opinion. I might be, I might be well, well wider than out there.